Hello, so today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your Kiwi project into a one standalone exe. Not the one dear option that leaves you with like a directory uh, that has like 139 megabytes in size that it's just really too big to share with anyone. So we are going to be making the one file option and it's a bit complicated but don't worry I'm just going to guide you right through it but there's keep in mind there's a lot of things that can go wrong and that probably will go wrong so I'm just leaving some of the links to pages for troubleshooting stuff I have created some stack overflow issues myself when I was making this video when I was trying to my, get my project into a standalone exe so yeah but without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing you want to make sure is that you have this function in your main Python code. I'm gonna just pull my, pull up my code. See, I have this function like somewhere here, I think. Yeah, see here. And what this function is being used for uh, is loading your KV files or any other files that you might be res referencing to in your code. So and you have like an PNG file or JPEG file that you will be using, you need to make sure that you load it like that. But if you're just going to use the K KV file, this is the right syntax for it. Just pass in the function, pass in the thing you want to load. Uh, here, you have, here you have our KV file you don't change anything in here but alright so now that you have all this done we can get to the command prompt uh, and uh, now we we go to the command prompt we just navigate to the di to the directory where you have your project I think it's what's yeah, right, sorry. Jesus Christ. Alright, so now that you have your project over here, you're gonna write this command, and I'm going to provide it in the description too. But keep in mind that you will have to change some of these names because it's strict to my project. But here we have Pi Installer. You wanna make sure you're, you have installed Pi Installer. You, are, you do this by just simply saying pip install pi installer if you haven't if you don't have it installed already just run a command I'm not gonna run it because I already have it so now we have our command and I'm gonna explain it but see you're calling pi installer you're in, you're uh, having the one file option minus w that is short for minus minus windowed that means your app will run in a windowed mode and you have your icon and the path to your icon. Now this is optional, but if you have an icon and you want to include it, you do that this way. I just don't have any path to it because it's in the root folder of my directory, of my project, sorry. And now you have any other files you want to add. And that for me is my KV file. And note the syntax here. It has to be like this comma thingy here. I mean here. But yeah, uh, basically just change the names of the things that you want. Basically, I'm making it strictly for KV KV projects with KV lang, but it should work for other stuff too. But I do not guarantee it. So after you add your KV file, just add add your py your main script. And you press enter. It's gonna do this stuff. Now, if you now should you run into any errors here, and uh, odds are you will. I'm speaking from my experience, but if you do everything correctly, you should not have any errors over here. See, building AXE from compiled successfully. So yeah, it's successfully compiled. We're just gonna open it up and yeah here we have our 
project. In the dist folder you have your standalone exe file. Now note that sometimes it might not work. Uh, in my case it doesn't work just like that but we'll get to it in a bit. See I just flashes and stuff creates all the folders I told it to create but it crashes when it gets to the window. So if you have any errors you can also add a minus minus you can add a flag here minus minus debug equals all and it will tell you any errors that it encounters but just doesn't tell you but I'm not gonna rerun this in my case the issue is it the file the application needs some of the uh, library files that it just does not detect and in your case this may be the issue too but it's a very common issue so I think I have it somewhere over here It's right here. So here are the libraries you want to copy. And I'm gonna put a link for the to them in the description. I will think I'll put it on my GitHub. Or make a mega link, I don't know. And then you wanna copy it to the to your <coughs> dist folder. So you copy it, it doesn't take much space, like five megabytes or so. And then when you run it. See, plain and simple. That's just my project here. Forgive me for because it looks so awful, but yeah. Never mind. Oh, and also, you can go ahead and delete or copy somewhere else all these files like file finder, .spec, kv, download the icon, and you will most likely want to delete the build folder because it takes up a lot of space for a simple application like that and you don't need it, it runs without it. I am going to prove you this now. So you know I'm not talking smack. You can also do this thing so that you have so that you, oh, create a shortcut so that you have even less folders and stuff and it's just plain and simple type, you know. And to prove that it runs all well, here we go. Everything runs get good. Now, and that's all. That's your thingy here, and it like yeah, 27 megabytes with the one dear option. It will it would weigh like 140 when I checked, and if you compress it, it's even less. So if you want to send it to a friend via email, it should be under 25 megs. And I have compressed this, and it, the, and I uploaded it to GitHub, and it was enough in size. So yeah, I'm basically making this video because I encountered a lot of problems when I was making my project, and I just visited over the weeks. I visited countless Stack Overflow links issues, GitHub issues, stuff, 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 and I just didn't want anyone else to go through that. So I just bundled all the things into one. Now, feel free to post comments, I will try to help you, and also make sure you visit the links I put up in the description. A lot of these are really helpful, including one of these include the solution which I stumbled upon that uh, helped me, along with the uh, functions you want to write and stuff you want to paste into your terminal. But yeah, that's that. So. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead, ask me. I'll try my best to help you. So, thank you.